Hey Oklahoma, Sean Cummings here for the Gourmet Grill at Buy for Less. And today I'm going to make a little gourmet meatloaf, you know, and gourmet meatloaf is just barbecue sauce instead of ketchup. And it's going to be a little onions and peppers and whatnot. Really not that special. And some mushrooms. The big thing is um, make it and don't worry about exact ingredients. Get this thing kind of good. When it cooks, it'll be a little looser or it'll be a little drier. Don't worry about that. All right, meatloaf coming up. Everything we're going to do with our meatloafs right here, from peppers to onions to breadcrumbs to head country barbecue, just can't beat this stuff. I'm going to get all this chopped up. Since you know what this is right now, once I chop it up, you're ready to go and just mix it and bake. And you know how this goes. Peel the outside of your peppers like this. Flip off the end, throw this part away. Green pepper, same deal. And this isn't really even going to change for the jalapeno. Get rid of the parts you don't need. Jalapenos. Peel around the outside. You're going to have that middle part you don't want. Throw it away. No big deal. I, I was looking at them, I was like... And you know what I'm saying? I thought they were being stuck inside of it. Because I didn't think they had a picture on it. What the hell is that? Cut and peel. And then we're just going to chop. Right? You remember that? Turn it, do the small ones, you'll end up with these perfect little pieces, that's what we're looking for. Now I'm adding a few mushrooms this time, just because we had them here, you know, why not? If I got them, may as well use them. And these ones were already sliced, so all you got to do is that, no big thing. And of course, we're going to need parsley on this. I would get about, you know, maybe, maybe three quarters of a cup, you just want to get enough. jalapenos a little bit smaller, okay? Just because you get people with a big old bite of that and they're going to have a fit. So we'll get these trimmed up and cut a little more. I've got all of my vegetables in here right now. Got my beef right here. Let's go ahead and get that opened up. I think I'm going to have to transfer all this to a bigger bowl though. couple of eggs to hold everything together. We'll knock that on in there. So, you know, bigger bowl, you gotta have it. We'll drop everything over into here. And we're gonna throw literally about a cup of breadcrumbs in there. Remember, meatloaf is poor people's food. We're just trying to stretch food out. We're gonna do about a cup, maybe a cup and a half of uh, head country. And this is a tablespoon and a little bit more of Cajun seasoning. And I'm just going to mix this stuff. And we'll see what we end up with. Now the big thing is you got to make sure you've got the spices mixed in because otherwise all the, all the stuff isn't going to taste the same. And what I end up with is kind of this gigantic meatball. We'll just go ahead and put it over here. Now, some people can get these uh, kind of pans that have a screen down on the bottom so all the fat will go through. We're not so lucky today. And just so you know, my wife would put Parmesan cheese in here. Not me. I'm good with the way it is. And then I'll throw a little barbecue sauce over the top. Yeah, a little barbecue over the top. Didn't hurt anybody. And then we're just going to spread it around with our hands. Ready to go into the oven. I have to find out about 350 degrees. Just cook it till it's not raw in the middle. What do you think of that? Not bad, friends. Give it a little while, we'll see how this bad boy tastes. Okay, so we've had about 40 minutes at 350 for this. Let's pop this right down the middle and see what we've got. And All right, let's give this thing a try. That's, that is fantastic, man. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. For these and more recipes, buy for less, okay.com.